All right, so I just sold this watch um, on eBay, and I always look at my watches and I see if they're ticking and if the date's changed like they're supposed to, um, and this one's dead. So before I send this to my customer, I'm going to put a new battery in it. So I need my case back opener, and then... See if I got a battery for this. I'll just try to keep a bunch of spare batteries on hand, um, just in case something like this happens. Because I don't want to send my customer a dead watch. Okay, should be a tab somewhere. I'm thinking one might not actually have a tab so I'm just gonna go at it from anywhere really yep that worked okay single time quorum France huh it's got a French made case back don't see that every day Okay, I get the feeling this is the wrong size battery for this watch. Hmm, what did I do? Did I replace that battery with the wrong one, I wonder? Does it go... Does that say 7W89A? Something like that. 7N89A. Must be the movement. <clears throat> okay. I don't think this is the right battery. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this, figure out what size this is. Okay, so this looks like it's a 364. And this watch probably actually wants a 321. So let's see if I got a 321 lying around. I do. Three, two, one, right there. Okay. Let's put it in and see if it'll tick. Now, this doesn't have a seconds hand, so it might take a second <laughs> for me to see that minute hand move. But I do believe installing this battery should fix the problem, I hope. Clipped light, uh, it clipped in. So we'll see. Let's see if this actually has a tab. Okay, so this did have a gasket, which is, yeah, check this out. The gasket on this watch is disintegrating. So I'm going to replace the gasket because it's not complete anymore and it's breaking. It's falling apart like old gaskets do <clears throat> so I will replace the gasket on this as well and uh, yeah I mean, it's even a better watch than I originally listed which is good for the customer so looks like we want a 20 eh, 20 probably 21 millimeter Gasket would probably work on that, so let's go find one. What did I say, 21? Okay, let's see what we got. Mm, 21. And then I'll put a Thing and the thing has a placeholder. Okay, let's see. So I've got um, 21 millimeter O-rings I got off of AliExpress. They seem to be a little on the thick side, but they do work. Okay, this is being a pain. There we go. <clears throat> Uh, 
Um, these ones are actually looking pretty good, all things considered. Okay, let's see if it'll go on. <laughs> Sometimes they like to not go on, but yeah, this looks right to me, actually. So I always go like one millimeter smaller because you want it to kind of hug the uh, outer diameter. But um, that looks pretty good. So new gasket, new battery. Let's see if it ticked at all. Yeah, because I, I set it to 12 o'clock, remember? And it's ticking. Check it out. So I'm sure this watch is going to work just fine because I, I had timed it before and it was working great. Um, so, I believe, once I, whoa, oh, there's the other piece of the gasket, that's funny. Um, once I, um, set this watch's time again, I'm sure it'll work just fine. Okay. I think that's good. All right, so this does have a notch, a big old notch out of it um, for the uh, crown and stem, so that's nice. Might cause some misalignment though, but as long as I do a good enough job here, snap right in. It took that gasket quite well. I think we have a good watch. Um, what time is it? 11.52, you know what I'm going to do. Uh, what is the date? Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to quick... I'm sure this has a quick... I hope this has a quick change date. It looks kind of vintage, but we'll see. <clears throat> I'm going to quick change the date to the 17th. Yeah, that works fine. 14, 15, 16, so put it on 17, and then I'm going to have it change to the 18th, which is today's date, and I'm going to set it to 11.55 p.m., so, okay, still at 17, let's keep going. I just want want this watch to work before my customer gets it. And tomorrow's Sunday, so I get to sit on it for an extra day and just make sure that it's ticking away properly and that the date changes, <clears throat> which is nice. But uh, okay, so that's changing. Yep, changed to 18 like it's supposed to. Okay, we're in the AM. This is the one of the silly things about a stiff crown that's this small is it takes forever and Timexes are notorious for this and it takes so long to get anywhere on a watch like this and then your hands cramp up and you get tired and you don't want to do this anymore and 10 okay 11 what time is it okay we're almost at 11.55 Okay. I'm going to look at my clock until it's 11.55 and then I'm going to push the crown in. <laughs> cool. So I think this watch is going to work just fine. Um, we even have the right size battery in it. I don't know why I had the, I probably put the wrong size battery in it like a doofus. Um, and then I bought the right size and I just never went back to replace it because I do that sometimes because I'm silly. Um, best practice is to use the right size battery. Sometimes you get away with one that's a little bigger or a little smaller, but generally speaking, you do want to use the right size battery. So, just FYI. Okay, boom, there we go. All right, and that's that. This is a beautiful watch. Um, I only sold it for $20. Is a beautiful Seiko Japan. It's got the model number on there seven i seven n eight nine. It says something else I can't read. 
but <clears throat> it's a nice watch. I think it's worth twenty dollars. I mean, if you go try to buy a watch like this brand new, um, oop, my camera doesn't want to focus right now. There you go. Had to do that manually. Uh, if you went and tried to buy a watch like this brand new at a department store, you'd pay eighty dollars for it probably. So it's a seven N eight nine hyphen F zero seven zero. It's kind of a nice one. Um, I think the yeah, the clasp has something on it too. Seiko Stainless Steel B. Hey, whatever that means. And then it's got some codes on the on here as well. Which is kind of cool. Well-made watch. Um, the links look good. Uh, these ones are a little... Hmm. Is it supposed to look like that? No. Oh, that's weird. I never, I never noticed that, but the... It must just be how it is. Um, <clears throat> the gold plating is still looking pretty good on this. Nothing's really worn. Um, it does, the uh, crystal does have some scratches on it that you can see with the light. But overall, this is a pretty nice little watch. Um, I think it's gonna, it's gonna fit somebody pretty well. And uh, yeah. Sad to see it go. Looks like it could fit a six inch or smaller wrist pretty good. And of course these links are removable. Um, you can see the arrows. And uh, what you do is you push, you would push this through and then the whole thing, the whole bar comes out and the link comes apart. So uh, it's got plenty of room for adjustment. It has three on each side so and it's taken away. So thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope my customer likes it. Sometimes these come back uh, because, well, people just don't like them. But hopefully this is one that stays. All right, thank you.